Let's close with uh, William James's depression. That's a nice way to end. I think that for three years he had a little trouble getting out of bed and how he snapped out of it. Yeah, w- w- William James was um, yeah, yeah, he was he was a young man at the time. I think he was he was bedridden for. I mean, not quite bedridden for three years, but he was in and out of this deep existential depression, um, and 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 it was due because he yeah, he found it completely inconceivable how anyone could have free will, and so he questioned his own will, his own purpose, his own meaning, and he you know a lot of the work that he later did, like varieties of religious experience, was all based off of his really deep deep depression that he he suffered. And one day he basically just came to the realization that this is this is just impossible to solve. You know, he you you can sort of marshal endless philosophical arguments one way or another. Now he, you know, he he didn't have the benefits of modern causation, uh, you know, our modern mathematical understanding of causation or chaos theory or any of these other things, right? So I, I think maybe we can actually go a little bit further than that. But you know, he he came to believe, listen, this is this is just impossible. And so if it's unanswerable, I'm just going to choose. Right? And he he wrote in his diary, uh, my first act of free will will be to believe in free will. And he just sort of chooses, in a sense, to come out of this depression and uh, and get on get on with his life. And um, I think that, yeah, there's a lesson in that. 